back at the Green Lane project today. We finished up demolition, which was phase one. If you guys want to see more detailed pictures and videos of that, follow the link below. So now we're on to phase two. Phase two is framing. So you see this massive pile of LVLs and studs and beams and plywood and then this massive 25 foot steel beam. This steel beam is going to go through this window and it's going to hold up the existing house from the addition in the back. So come on inside and we're going to show you what we're going to do. Okay, so now we're inside and you can see that we have a detailed set of plans. We even had our demolition plan out here. So with our interior trends right way to renovate process, everything is spelled out on the plan from exactly what needed to be done in the demolition to all the measurements that are on the plan for the contractors. This leads no room for error and no guesswork. Okay, so the existing laundry mud room is being reconfigured uh, by moving the washer, which was here, the dryer, which was over here, um, and basically no storage. So our goal was to condense the washer and dryer, which we're putting right over here. We're putting a laundry sink next to it, storage cabinetry up above, and storage cabinetry underneath the sink. We're going to be closing this section off and putting in a full closet on this side and this side, having a nice bench in the center under the window so when you come in from the side door you'll have a place to drop your stuff and put your coat away then we'll have a nice big entrance coming in right into the kitchen so we're relocating the doorway which was over to the right we're moving it over to the left side to put a bigger uh, entry in and a straight path right into the kitchen we're in the kitchen now and this was a small closed cramped dark kitchen so we have decided to take the bearing wall out that separated the kitchen from the back den, uh, which faces the pool, and open up the front area, which was their front den, which has now become their formal dining room. So if we walk into this new dining room space, it's gonna be a nice big, bright, open space. We took the existing wood burning fireplace insert out, and we're putting a new electric uh, fireplace unit in with some bookcases on either side for some display, and we're putting a stacked stone wall floor to ceiling in here to give it a nice, cool, contemporary effect. This area over here, which was an open stairwell, we're gonna kind of close it off so that they can get a nice china hutch over here for some dishware and some storage. Through this large opening, we're gonna be back in this cool kitchen with a big 10 foot center island and a big kitchen sink looking out this great open window. Over here is gonna be the laundry room which is gonna be nice and closed off. You'll be able to come into a mudroom concept and then go right out the side of the back of the house. So we're in the new future barn area and this area is pretty exciting because what we're doing is we're gonna repurpose the two existing windows that are here now. We're going to be taking them out. We're gonna be reframing the whole back wall, shifting all the windows down and pushing them together. So the new bar will have wall to wall glass facing the back pool area. On this side, we took out the existing masonry fireplace. We stripped it all down. We're going to reframe it out. We're going to put an electric fireplace in here with a full stack stone wall. And then this main focal point will be a big U-shaped bar. You'll be able to sit 10 people, enjoy your drinks, watch TV, and have a great day. Okay, so in the existing den area, um, we took down the bearing wall that separated the den from the kitchen area, which now is gonna be one large great room concept with a large 10 foot center island. We're taking out this window and we're putting in an eight foot fireplace with a 60 inch electric fireplace unit and a big 60 inch TV up above it. On either side of that fireplace, we're gonna put a large floor to ceiling window left and right. And we're moving the existing French doors down creating a corridor from the great room, the bar, and the entrance to the new tower room. Okay, so we're here at Green Lane today, and I wanted to show you some of the outside changes that we made to the back of the addition. So we took the two existing windows that were spread apart and pushed this way. We took them, reframed the opening, and pushed them all the way down to the end, connected them together so that now the bar has one large continual view of glass over to the pool. We then took the double doors that were over here and we moved them down to here. So we created this new vestibule inside that when you come from the pool, you have a nice vestibule area which separates the new bar area from the great room from the powder room. 
we put a new entranceway onto the powder room which push the door over further so that you have a lot more space when you're inside the bathroom and you're not in the doorway. As you can see, I got Miles up on the roof. He's getting ready to prepare a tarp that's gonna cover the whole back of the roof area in case the weather does open up and we get some rain. Um, he's gonna tarp the whole section off so he can cut that dormer off of there where the existing powder room is and make room for that new second story office. We're gonna start to stay strong by putting this big steel beam through this window. Gonna hold up the existing house from the new addition going on in the back. Yep, you're all right. still be now holds up the whole second story of the house and creates one large open concept from one end of the kitchen all the way back to the pool that was created by steel beam structural post and structural concrete all this is now holding and supporting all the load that's needed to carry the second floor of the house and make this one open big floor plan as you can see by the sun shining down on my face that we don't have a skylight here we've actually the roof out of the first story addition and we're getting ready to put our extension walls up and our roof for our new second story office okay so i'm up on the roof and i just wanted to show you that we exposed um the whole existing hall bath that was up here before we are going to get rid of this rotted top uh, beam and replace that we're going to take the roof off and because we're going to be putting a new roof line higher than this for the new office, we're going to actually take this roof off and we're going to give them a cathedral ceiling in the bathroom. So sometimes you do end up with something pleasant and an unexpected experience. As you can see, all of our wall framing is up and we're getting ready to put our roof rafter on and put our roofing shingles on. So let's go up and see how everything looks. Okay, so you can see that with our new addition, we've got a nice big room for a second story office. We've got this giant double window right here, which is gonna overlook the backyard. And we've got nice egress windows on this side and this side to bring as much natural light into this addition as we can. You can see that our roof is all cut open, exposing our existing rafters. And we put in all these structural land beams in here to carry the weight of the new roof and the snow load so that we don't put any pressure down on the existing roof. Okay, so we're now we're up on the roof. Our second story addition office is done. It's all framed in, our roof is on. We're ready for windows and siding. So we're finally upstairs at the Green Lane Project. We're in the existing hallway that connected the bathroom from the two bedrooms. And now we're gonna walk into the new hallway, which we've created, which now connects the existing bedroom and downstairs to the new second floor office. So we're gonna walk through the hallway and now you see here's the back of the existing hall bathroom. We're going to take off all the rotted framing members, anything that's damaged, any old insulation. We're going to take the ceiling out and we're going to give them a cathedral ceiling in this hall bathroom to open it up and make that bathroom feel twice the size. So you can also see around that we have this nice vaulted ceiling in here with all of our structural framing members. So this thing is nice and tight and secure, but we have a nice high eight foot ceiling. Second story office is nice and bright where we put windows on either side to pick up some of the, some of the light that comes in the morning and the afternoon. And then we put this big double window here, which is gonna let us look out over the pool and over this beautiful backyard. So this now second floor office is nice and bright. It's gonna be a nice place to work. We've got our top header back in place. All of our clean new framing is in. Our existing roof is out 
as you can see, we're gonna gain over two feet of height with our new cathedral ceiling in the bathroom. So this little bathroom is now gonna feel twice as big with this nice new vaulted ceiling in there. So now we got this nice big open floor plan, great room concept. What's going on here? We're gonna have a double oven, pantry cabinet, refrigerator over here. This is gonna be a nice long massive area for a nice new stove, hood above it, big 10 foot island in the center, plenty of seating with a secondary sink and a microwave in it. Then over here, it's a whole new bank of cabinets which is gonna be for the sink, the dishwasher and storage cabinets left and right. So you're gonna have a great flow all the way through here. And the best is that this is all open all the way to the back of the house. Almost all of our framing is 100% complete. Our big new great room area is all nice and open and done. Our fireplace and TV area is all framed in. We're just ready for final mechanicals, which we're getting ready to start. And then you can walk through this area with me. You see all the way through the outside, that's where the new fireplace is gonna go and the TV above it for the bar area. So stay tuned for us. Our next section is gonna be all the mechanicals and we're gonna show you exactly how that works. So the whole entire house got all new shingles, all new roofing materials on it. The back of the house, the only thing that's left to do is siding and windows and the whole exterior of the house is done. Inside, all the rough framing's done. So now we're ready for mechanicals and plumbing. So thanks for being so patient, watching this very detailed framing section of this addition project, and we've got lots more to come.